Is that you playing keys on Black Sabbath's Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath? Yeah, I did that, yeah. Uh, how'd that come about? Um, it, well, we were great friends. I mean, Ozzy and Tony and I have been mates since the 19, late 60s. I just, uh, and uh, we, there was one stage where, where um, Black Sabbath and Yes were in the same management office. Uh, we supported Sabbath on a tour in 71, I think it was, uh, 72. Uh, and they're great friends. And we were recording in one studio in 1973, and they were recording over the road in another studio. And um, um, there was a this studio had a had a bar that was open 24 hours a day, um, so it was quite busy. And and Ozzy said to me, uh, "I've got some a couple of things that really need to be done on a keyboard on the album." Which was very unusual for a metal album back then to have any keys on at all. Uh, I mean, it's common as muck now. Um, but he uh, he said, um, uh, "Would you come come and do them for us?" I said, "Yeah, I'll come and do it for you. Yeah, no problem at all." Um, so we picked a time to come on. A, we we planned to do it at mid just after midnight, after the yes sessions had finished. So I'd go over the road and go in. And there'd been a, a, a copious amounts of alcohol down. And I went into the studio, and they were all unconscious um, in a pile. I wasn't far off it. The only person who was less sober was the tape operator, a young lad who was terrified. And he said, I've set it up, they've set it up where they want you to play. And, they, and, and Ozzy said, you know what to play. I said, I ain't got a clue. So, so they, they put it on. I listened to it a couple of times, worked out things to do, and then did that. And go. Um, well, hopefully that'll work, and if it doesn't, I'm sure they'll let me know and I'll come and do it again. And at that moment, Ozzy opened his eyes, <laughs> came forward a bit, and I'll change the adjective. He just went, blooming brilliant. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then he went unconscious again. <laughs> and, and I wasn't far out, but much, much better. Um, Go forward many years later, um, in fact about 20, 21, 22 years ago, and my son Adam, my second oldest son, called me up and said, uh, I've just joined Ozzy, the band. And I went, oh great, he said, and Ozzy wants to do a couple of tracks from Sabbath Bloody Sabbath that you played on. Can you, can you tell me what you played? I said, oh, God, <laughs> Everybody was comatose. He said, yeah, that's what Ozzy said. <laughs> I said, look, work it out, and when you do, let me know. <laughs> so, so, I, now, completely opposite, I did his Osmosis album, which I love that album. I think that's one of the best albums ever, Osmosis. It's, it's like a prog metal album. It's brilliant. And, uh, and that was a totally different Ozzy. I mean, he, he produced that and was so on the case. I mean, Ozzy's really clever. Um, he knows how to behave wherever he is, and, it, and he can be a complete caricature of what people think he is. He's a very bright guy. He's very clever musically, as we were, and um, and when we're still we're still great friends, still great mates. Um, and uh, the only thing I hasn't helped is Adam has been with him now twenty odd years, oh, wow. and he sits down and tells Adam stories about the things that he and I did together. <laughs> and, and I keep mentioning maybe you shouldn't do that. Not a really great idea. Um, and Adam's only response is, "Well, I hope I'm mentioned in your will, Dad." <laughs>